Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Also, this episode is the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. So we've got that going for us. <laughs> Tango enabled apps like Wayfair View make it easy to visualize and rearrange new furniture in your home. To learn more about their app and see how Tango apps help power new AR shopping experiences, check out the post linked in the description below. The Google VR SDK 1.0 with support for Daydream has graduated out of beta and is now available on the Daydream developer site. The updated SDK simplifies common VR development tasks and supports integrated asynchronous reprojection, high fidelity spatialized audio, and interactions using the Daydream controller. To learn more and get links to the docs, samples, and tutorials, head on over to the post. Android Studio 2.2 is out of preview and now available to download in the stable channel. For more info and screenshots on the layout editor, improved C++ support, and other top highlights, take a look at the post. The latest version of our image captioning system is now available as an open source model in TensorFlow. This release contains significant improvements to the computer vision component of the captioning system, is much faster to train, and produces more detailed and accurate descriptions compared to the original system, which actually tied for first place in a 2015 image captioning challenge. For details and the GitHub link, head on over to the post. AdMob's Native Ads Express is a quick and simple way to set up and monetize your native ads effectively. Take a look at the post where three developers share their success stories of switching to native and growing both their revenue and their business. With the new direct integration between Particle, an IoT cloud platform and hardware provider, and Google Cloud Platform, you can now easily bring your IoT data to big data tools such as Google Cloud Dataflow and Google BigQuery. One of the coolest cloud integrations with the new Firebase platform is the ability to export raw data from Firebase Analytics to Google BigQuery for custom analysis. To see what you can do with this combination along with some code, check out the post. Speaking of big data, historical daily weather from the Global Historical Climate Network is now available in Google BigQuery. The data comes from over 80,000 stations in 180 countries, spans several decades, and has been quality checked to ensure that it's temporally and spatially consistent. Take a look at the post for some code and graphs to get started. Cross-platform map styling is here. You can change the color palette of your maps, hide labels, vary road density, and toggle points of interest, which means your maps can now match your brand and style across your website and your apps using the same JSON style object. Oh, and there's a video. Take a look by jumping over to the post linked below. Please take a moment to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.